Lucy with Ross Monster Vans and today I want to show you around the Sprinter 144 4x4 that we just wrapped up. Before we hop inside on this very freezing day, um, I'll talk about some of the exterior highlights of this vehicle. Up top we have an aluminous touring style roof rack. Um, all of the solar, which is 200 watts, is pushed towards the front so that eventually you can put a roof, a roof tent up there. And then as we step inside, you'll see we have this flip down outdoor happy hour table that's going to be walnut. We also have a mount for our lagoon mount table so that, that can go there as well. Let's step inside and go through some of the interior highlights. All right, welcome inside. Before I go through the specific um, components of this rig, I'll talk about some of the design features as well as the layout. So when it comes to design features on the floor, we have Malibu oak flooring. Working our way up, you'll see that we have another walnut table. We have this walnut um, flip up butcher block countertop. And then up here in the galley and on the driver's side, you're going to see a light gray Corian countertop. All of our lowers are painted with New York State of Mind blue from Benjamin Moore. And then up top, we have walnut slab door cabinetry um, throughout the rest of the vehicle. When it comes to layout, you'll notice that we have a secondary row of seating for additional passengers. This can flip away to create a little bit more room in the living area. Moving further back, we have our galley on both sides, and then all the way in the rear, we have this fixed bed on top of our garage, which I'll show you from the rear of the van. So I'm going to start in the front, and then we'll work our way back. In the front of this van, as I said, we have this secondary seating row. This is going to be a Friedman um, bench seat here with three-point retractable seat belts. So great for when riding. You have that table to use, and you can also flip around both of the front seats to have a nice little communal area. And then when you're ready to utilize the rest of the space, we can go ahead and flip it away. Alrighty, moving a little bit further back, we have our galley area. So on the passenger side, as I mentioned before, we have these light gray Corian countertops. We also have a flip up butcher block walnut um, countertop extension. We also have a drawer bank down the side here. All of these are going to be on push press buttons, so that'll keep everything nice and secure while in transit. Um, all sorts of different sizes for the drawer banks, and then we have our vents for the Rickson hydronic heat and hot water system at the bottom. Up here we have a 15 by 20 Rivadi workstation sink, so you have that cutting board insert as well as the colander. Underneath that, you'll see that we have a seven gallon removable gray water tank. Moving over to the driver's side, we have a 4.6 cubic foot drawer style isotherm fridge and freezer. So our freezer's gonna be up top there. And then on top of that, we have an Impava two burner induction cooktop. Um, really nice space here. You have some additional outlets on both sides. Um, so perfect for making some really nice meals on the road. Up top, as I mentioned, we have all of our uppers. So again, these are gonna be on the push buttons. In this one, right to finish out the galley area, we have a microwave, we'll close that down. And then all of these are gonna be on gas struts for easy opening and closing. Lastly, in this galley area, I'll just talk about ventilation. So we have our CR Lawrence T-Vent window on the driver's side. That's gonna have these awning windows on bottom with the bug screen, so that'll let some nice airflow in. And then we also have a max air fan up top to suck out any cooking, um, cooking smoke that's up in the air. All the way in the rear here, we have our fixed bed. So this is gonna have half slides on both um, ends of the bed, as well as flare space to make it a little bit longer for width-wise sleeping. Um, and then we have a hard partition that separates out our garage area from our main living area. So I'll show you that from the rear, but always nice to have a hard partition to kind of keep everything separate. Lastly, I'm gonna talk a little bit about power systems and heating. So we have our Rickson hydronic heat and hot water system, as I mentioned before. And then we just have our switch panel here. So we have our dimmable LED overhead dome lights, and then we also have these um, touch activated reading lights in the rear on both sides of the bed. And then as per usual, we have controls for everything and our Victron Bluetooth battery monitor. So that's gonna keep track of how much solar we have coming in, where our battery power is at, um, and all of that good stuff so they can stay on top of this vehicle. Let's step around back. 
All right, welcome to the rear of the van. So back here we have our garage. It's going to be underneath our fixed bed up top. We continue the walnut cabinetry back here, and then we also have a separate um, lighting zone for back here so that um, keeps everything bright if you have to load up in the dark. So we're going to have a gear slide back here. This is going to be aluminum, and we also have l track to ma um, mount these Rocky Mounts through shaft bike mounts too because this guy is a biker. Also back here, we have our exterior shower. This is gonna pull water from that Rickson hydronic heat and hot water system. So you have some nice hot water back here. On the passenger side, we have our water cabinet. So this is gonna be a 20 gallon freshwater tank. And then this is where our Rickson is gonna be housed. And then moving over to the driver's side, we have our power cabinet. So in here, we have 340 amp hours of AGM super cycle battery. We have a 3000 watt inverter, and then this is where our um, solar is going to come through. That wraps up this van. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a van tour, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.